All right, welcome to the Sunderland Select Board meeting. Today is Monday, the 8th of March. Uh, hard to believe that spring is less than 20 days away, so it should be nice and warm by the end of the week. Um, tonight, we've got a somewhat light agenda compared to usual. We've got our minutes, we've got a few appointments, and then our usual updates. And then afterwards, we'll be adjourning to go into... Um, We'll be going into executive session and then only coming back to adjourn. So there won't be um, a televised spot when we come back and adjourn. So just an FYI on that one for folks. <clears throat> All right. So why don't we do our minutes first from last week, March 1st. Motion. Uh, all right. We have a second. A second on that. All right. All those in favor of the minutes from... March 1st? Aye. 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 All right. Three to zero on that one. And I see we've got Dave Zagorski on there. So why don't we do, we've got um, a couple of appointments on there. So why don't we um, do that one first? I don't think, um, I don't think we have anybody else for the appointments. Do we, Jeff? Online? I don't think. Uh, uh, no. No. Nope. Okay. All right. Since Dave's on there, we'll do that first. So we've got... Um, the uh, Board of Assessors has uh, recommended the appointment of Dave Zagorski as their yes. admin assistant. And I see Dave on there. I see him on twice, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Let me scroll down because I've got- Yeah, I'm having technical difficulties. Give me one second. Yep, no problem. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I gotta. My uh, I was trying to go on my laptop and uh, had image, so I uh, pulled up my uh, Chromebook. So now I'm a lot better. So okay, there you go. go. Yeah, uh, just trying. You know, still not. We're still not used to these things, are we? <laughs> so, um, but I'm I'm here. So all right. Yeah, so um, it, as you know, uh, Teresa Foster retired uh, in February. Right. And so um, we, this round, we, we interviewed uh, Dave and another candidate. Um, Dave's had experience doing uh, assessing work in several communities, currently works part time in West Hampton, right, Dave? West Hampton, right, Dave? That's correct. Um, okay. and, and is available to, to work in Sunderland, has experience. Um, uh, Jim Kowalik from the Board of Assessors was on the interview committee and the uh, board uh, met this evening uh, and unanimously uh, recommended um, that we hire Mr. Zagorski. Okay, great. Um, I'll, I'll uh, give you the opportunity to, for you to introduce yourself, Dave, and I mean, just give yourself a little... Uh, little introduction. I think you might, it's possible when you were talking earlier, I noticed there was a lag between the video and the audio. So that might just for, so folks know that could be going on. So you might not see a sync there, but testing, testing. Ah, uh, there you go. Now you're looking good. All right. Okay. Excellent. Good. <laughs> That's good. Okay. All right. Uh, are you ready for me to, to go yeah, now? Sure. Yeah. Go okay. Ahead. I'm uh, Dave Zagorski. I, uh, have been in the assessing field for about 20 years now. Uh, started as a assessor's clerk in Hatfield and uh, took the schooling, worked my way up to uh, the top position in various towns. Um, right now I'm working part-time for the town of West Hampton as the assistant assessor and uh, looking forward to uh, working in the town of Sunderland and helping out. Oh, great. Um, does anybody have any questions for Dave at all? Or I'm not sure why nobody's got any questions. I'm no, just happy to have someone in that position. Yeah. All right. And you get big shoes to fill. Teresa was a force of nature. Uh, she, uh, yes, I'm she was. Big shoes. So I'm. I look forward to the challenge. <laughs> all right. Great. Well, glad to have you on. So. Welcome to the fair city of Sunderland. Excuse yeah, me, not, so, not really a city, to, but <laughs> Sunderland a long time ago. So okay, I, uh, right. it's a nice town. I, I like the. All right, great. I used to live over at the uh, Cliffside Apartments. 
Ah, so, yeah. A lot of people have come in and out of those over the years. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, we're looking forward to having you on board. And like Scott said, there's some big shoes to fill, but I'm sure you'll figure out your niche in there and do that. So that'll be great. All right. Um, do we have a recommended uh, recommended vote for? I will move to Dave? appoint Dave Zagorski for the remainder of this appointment cycle. Dave, your name's going to be coming back up again in June. June. Right. So don't yeah. don't fret. Right. Yeah. That's pretty standard. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. No All worries. Right. Okay. All right. All those in favor? Of appointing Dave. Aye. Aye. All right. Three to zero. All right. Thanks, Dave. Uh, welcome. Uh, we'll look forward to seeing you. All right. Thanks, Jeff. I guess I'll be talking to you pretty soon about uh, when I when I come in and everything. Yeah. Yep. I'll send you an email this evening after the meeting, and then we can chat tomorrow or the day after. Absolutely. Okay. Sounds good. All Thank right. you. Thanks. Congratulations, Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thank Have a good you. night. You too. All right. So next up, we'll go back up to we have an appointment of Arnold Rose as highway laborer, um, recommended from George. <laughs> Motion. All right. We have a second on that. I'll second. All right. All those appointment, excuse me, all those in favor of the appointment of <laughs> Arnold Rose as highway laborer. Aye. Uh, Aye. All right. Three to zero on that. Sorry. I've been on meetings and doing presentations all afternoon. So, <clears throat> all right. And then we have one more appointment. We have the appointment of Amanda Hanley to the planning board to fill a vacant seat on that. Motion to accept. Thanks, Amanda. Yes, I'll second. Greatly appreciate it. All right. All those in favor of appointment of Amanda to the planning board? Aye. 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 All right. Three to zero on that one. Next up, it is time for our updates and Did I bounce off? No, you're still there. Okay, all right. I lost the screen for a second. Sorry about that. No worries. Uh, okay. We have got our COVID-19 update. I don't know if I can't see. Is Lori on? Lori's yes, on. Okay, fantastic. Hi, Hi EMD. Hi. Of How are you all? Oh, We're good. good. How are you? We're good. We've got good numbers this week. I think um, Caitlin's update says we have seven active cases in town at the moment. Um, that number might go to eight because we had one more this morning, one more notification this morning. Um, but our overall two week number is looking good. Um, four weeks ago it was 13, two weeks ago it was five. I think this week coming up, it'll be about six. Okay. So, it's, it's definitely trending in the right direction. That's good. Yep. Um, got some PPE delivered um, Friday by the National Guard through MEMA. And we got that all distributed. I think Jeff arranged for the town to pick up their share this morning. Uh, police department got theirs on Sunday with me and the fire department got their share too on this morning nice oh good yeah so lots of good supplies well, that's good we'll keep our fingers crossed as more people start to get vaccinated and everything hopefully things will um keep going in that direction and hopefully folks will still stay vigilant because there's always a chance of more outbreaks too so yeah i would like nothing better to, than to have that stuff collect dust in a corner uh, exactly. All right. And never have to need it, you know, except maybe when you do a sanding project in the future. <laughs> you know, that would be good. And I see, uh, I noticed the CDC put out some new guidelines today about visitations and things like that for folks who have been vaccinated. So there's some more information out there. So definitely. Yep. Folks ought to stay tuned to that. So, yeah. Oh, great. All right, thanks, Lori. Hopefully, they'll 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 be short updates as we and shorter as we go along. You know. Yep, I hope so. 
Um, Tom, do you know when the second vaccine is at Treehouse? 26. Thank you. Yes, and 26. Oh, the 25th and 26th, uh, Lori. All right, thank you. That was a perfect segue into that, so. Try. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> All right. All right. Well, thanks. Did you have any um, anything updates on your end, Jeff, at all? Uh, just a, two quick things. One, I wanted to thank Lori for for getting the PPE and securing that for for the departments. That was great, and and yeah. picking it up and and bringing it into town. Um, and just wanted to mention that there are going to be three. Um, clinics this week in Franklin County, in Orange, Montague, and Greenfield. Um, the links went live at three o'clock this afternoon, and I tried to check the links at about 3.06, and it, I, I guess they've updated the state website, so now it says, you're in line, the wait time is 49 minutes. Oh, okay. Um, so I, I think that that's, I know nothing about what, how, I know it's different than it was before. I assume that means that you're in the queue and when you click on an available time, you sort of lock that in. Okay. Um, but I, I just, you know, we have the links on our, our website to the Franklin County vaccination, I think is the website. Um, it's it's Franklin County, Franklin County, massvaccine .org. Okay. Thank you. Um, Franklin County MA vaccine .org. Yep. Franklin uh, County MA vaccine .org. Okay. Great. Thank you. And that's going to be up, updated with local um, clinics as, as more become available on? and things. So that, that's the, the website to check. All right, great. Can I need, oh, go ahead, Tom. Uh, the first talk is saying usually there, the clinics are filled within 20 minutes of it opening it up, so. Okay. Uh -huh. So they opened up at three o'clock. I don't think there's any spots available right now, but yeah. that do, I, that I, doesn't stop you from trying, Yeah. so. That's true. <clears throat> All right. All right. Well, any other um, COVID related updates from anyone? All right. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Lori. Yep. Good night. Good week. Good night, Lori. <laughs> All right. Now I know we have our placeholder for um, budget uh, borrowing authorizations and discussions. I don't know that we have any updates this week for that. Uh, we just appointed someone who's going to help us with numbers. Yeah, that's right. That's an underrated uh, spot for that information. So, <clears throat> yep. all right. And that's right. I did. Um, I, I have been working on the big spreadsheet. Hopefully, I'll get that to you to, to review for next week. Um, I just, we, we still don't have the, the local receipts numbers, but I think we're pretty good on, on the revenue side, as far okay. as what, what that total is going to be, at least what the requested amount was. Um, and uh, there was something else on, oh, and next week, um, uh, Franklin Tech is coming in to do their budget presentation. Okay. That was the All only right. other budget update. All right. So, so Scott, is the uh, library and public safety coming off this fiscal year or next fiscal year? Last payments are this, this last year, payments right? are this July, essentially. That's right, Tom. Thank you. Okay. I was talking to somebody the other day and they thought it was one more year. I said, no, I, this is the last year. Yep. You know how much, how much, Per thousand, each one is. Not without the not without changing the valuation based on the growth that's happened over the last twenty months, Tom. That's part of the reason we need the assessors in there. What's what's our what's our pay? What's our how much are we paying? 
each uh, month. It's, uh, right now we're at we're at the last payment, so it's probably less than the total is less than sixty thousand. So that'll, that'll technically be the very beginning of next fiscal year, right? That we make that last one. Yeah, I think it's, it's important. June. To, is it June? June. Okay. Yeah, that's so the this, close this year. of this year. Yep. Okay. It's also important to bear in mind it all excluded. So it, there's there's range in the tax rate, but not necessarily in our levy capacity. Okay. That's that's the tension and the the gap that we're trying to understand right now. We're a couple yep. of weeks away from having those numbers aligned. Okay. So we'll. It'll be more fun with that as we get into that coming up. Yeah, that's important. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so more budget excitement to come. Lots. Yeah. We're just, just really starting to get rolling. So, all right. <clears throat> um, next up, we've got any select board updates. I'll go left on my side. So we got uh, Scott tonight first, so. Uh, there's a scheduled frontier capital planning meeting uh, with three bids on the uh, track work, and that's scheduled for next week at next Tuesday at 5:30. And then there's a 120 North Main Street meeting notice that went out. As people may have noticed, there is activity that's begun. Uh, of course, right. we know the lease, the deed, and transfer is completed last Friday, and so the developers are anxious to get in there. Within, within reason for the seasons, with the season, to do some of the site prep so construction can begin. So that group, uh, Lauren Starr sent out a notice earlier today about getting everybody together uh, early next week, so. Oh, great. It's hard to believe that spring is actually coming. So we're gonna yeah. start to yeah. see a lot of activity on North Main, so. That's right. And you've seen activity on North Main in the last couple of weeks regard, uh, regarding its its own reconstruction with utility work and some tree work and some surveyors. Yeah, so we'll be, we'll be a busy spring in Sunderland. All right, um, any updates, Tom? Uh, I'd, I'd like to thank the town clerk on her uh, and, and all of her uh, help that went on to do the, uh, in the residence that came out to the uh, caucus on Saturday. It was a little different being outside on a, uh, on a blustery, windy <laughs> March morning. But uh, to tell you the truth, I, it just shows the resiliency of a whole bunch of people that, that uh, came out and, uh, and supported our democratic process. So. Yep, I'd like to, I just wanted to thank them all. Excellent. And um, as as far as um, vaccinations, I would just if if you're really looking for a vaccination, I would I would not put a lot of hope in uh, something in Franklin County. We're ready. Um, we have done it. We will do it again for at uh, City Tree Brewing. Um, I think. We're going to be constant. Our the latest plan has us trying to get vaccinations for all the uh, teachers and staff in Franklin County, and and doing a mass mass vaccination for teachers and staff. So, not just the South County, but all of Franklin County, and that's working through uh, the cog. So, it, it's all about putting in numbers, and they have to, and then see whatever the state per we can state. get. Well, personally, I told them what I would do. I, I would I would tally up, I would tally up all the teachers and staff uh, throughout Fat Franklin County, put that number together, and send it to the state as a as a standalone, and say, Request. hey, you want you want the kids and everything back in school, teachers in school, right. stand up to the plate. There, yep. We have X amount. Give us the vaccines. We'll vaccinate. We'll get the kids back in school. Yep. We'll, we'll we'll help the superintendent and school committees and all the parents and everybody else get kids back in school. I, I said you, we're we're it's don't don't. That's what I would do, and and I would put it out there. And then if the state doesn't crew, come through, it will say all right, state, you you need to put your you you need to put your vaccine vaccinations where you're talking about. Right now, I think we're we're under. Um, we're, we're under being under supplied of vaccines. Um, I don't really think the state cares about rural areas. Personally, I think they're just looking at doing numbers. I think we're uh, um, expendable. 
for lack of a better term. So I would tell you, sign, go on the, the, the vaccination webpage, sign up. If it means driving an hour to get your shot, get the shot. Yeah. Um, because there are better, there are better times coming. Um, and it looks like Johnson and Johnson's at, are putting out their vaccine. They uh, also partnered with Merck now. Those vaccines are coming. Right. And I just was said, get in line, get however you can get a vaccination, get it done. And and don't forget, UMass is still offering vaccinations. They don't get a whole bunch, but UMass is still offering vaccination. Get on their web, get on the web page, try to go there wherever you can. All right. I would say get on a bus, get a bus together and go, but uh, probably not a good idea. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't be able to get so many people on the bus now, right? Yeah, you probably like three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I, I would say there, uh, the only thing I can tell you is there's a lot of people, there's a lot of people investing a lot of time trying, trying to get vaccinations out on this part of the state. So there are yeah. a lot of people, there's a, there's a lot of uh, conversations, there's a lot of emails, there's a lot of um, conversation, but it seems right now, not going very fast, so. Uh, like you mentioned, the Johnson & Johnson one, hopefully that'll help crank out a little bit more supply in the uh, stream too, so. <clears throat> All right. Um, next up, we've got town administrator updates. Jeff, how are you? Good. Um, so I, I can't remember if I mentioned this previously, but the town was awarded a local rapid recovery planning grant, so Nice to follow up on what Tom was saying about better times and trying to plan for it. We had applied for um, looking at, at our zoning and regulations as it relates to outdoor dining and retail and how we might be able to expand that. Um, some of our uh, secondary priorities included um, wayfinding and branding and joint advertising for businesses. It's really focused on economic re recovery. Um, so that I have a webinar next week. Um, and, and basically the way it works is the state says, okay, we're not gonna give you money here. We're partnering you with a, a firm that does this and they're gonna provide technical assistance. And the goal is to have a report um, at the end of it. And depending on how far along we come, we may oh, get the lights shut off. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, depending on how quickly it goes, you know, it, it would be nice if if there were amendments to the zoning bylaw, if we could try to get that, you know, yep. given the town meeting was pushed back to June, um, try and get something on the warrant for that. Um, and so I, I've informed and invited the chairs for the village center committee and the planning board, um, at least for the first webinar, obviously want them involved throughout the process, but um, getting them on board earlier. Um, we are likely gonna be signing a contract with the restroom designer for the park grant for the Riverside nice. Park restroom. Um, just finalizing that, that's moving forward. Um, and then the only other thing I wanted to mention is that, uh, Sky, I think you said the Frontier Capital planning was tom tomorrow. Or next Tuesday? Next week, I think. Yeah, oh, next okay. week. So tomorrow, the Frontier budget, budget hearing right. is happening budget, at right. six o'clock. So yep. I just wanted to um, remind folks that's going to be broadcast, I think, via YouTube, and mm -hmm. you can get it on the um, FRSU 38 website. Yep. Uh, thank you. I was going to mention that. That's, that's an important one. So, <clears throat> yeah, and, and hopefully, uh, with the outdoor dining, that's one thing I hope um, comes out of this is we pay a little more attention to outdoor dining and get some more of that in there as a permanent institution everywhere. So I think that'll be a, a good ad. Should be nice. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> um, thanks, Jeff. So that concludes our regular old business section. Do we have any public comments next? All right. 
Um, so at this point, we're going to, we'll be done with our regular agenda and we're going to, um, we have an executive session that we'll go into. And um, we're gonna be doing this for under Massachusetts General Law Chapter 30, Section 21A to conduct item number two, to conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiations with a non-union personnel or to conduct collective bargaining sessions or contract negotiations with non-union personnel. And, um, and then we'll be coming back here only to um, adjourn the meeting. So uh, with that, uh, we can take a roll call for, and actually before we do that, I'll just mention our next meeting will be next Monday, March 15th, same time. Um, so, and then uh, for that, we'd like to take a roll call for going into executive session. Uh, Mr. Bergeron? Aye. All right, Mr. Feidengevitz? Aye. And I, Mr. Pierce. So we'll be coming back only to adjourn. So this will be the end of the televised portion of the evening. So thanks for tuning in folks. And uh, hopefully if you can, you can catch the uh, budget uh, frontier meeting tomorrow night and any of the other meetings. And uh, otherwise, thanks for tuning in.